and the Overton window is so uncomfortably narrow that uh, I would, uh, I would um, be long ideas more than at any other point in the last 50 years. I think, uh, I think we're not going to find solutions inside the um, intellectual straitjacket in which our universities and our society put us. I would say, if anything, if I, if I had to sort of characterize um, the, uh, the intellectual landscape, um, you know, we've been in a world for um, a very long time in which somehow the range of intellectual debate has gotten um, more and more narrow. And uh, sort of some of the Overton windows shifted to the left, but generally in an ever uh, narrower way. And you could sort of say that we've been in a bear market for ideas. Uh, I think for something like the last 50 years, and, and so you know, a lot of the people you cited, I think of as pre the late 1960s, and, and that in the last 50 years, if you had crazy ideas, if you had ideas that were outside the box, um, those were always bad, and you got clobbered, and you couldn't get tenure, you couldn't even you couldn't get uh, funding because everything was peer reviewed um, up the wazoo, and um, and uh, and I think we're now at a point where um, we've been in such a long bear market for ideas, and the Overton window is so uncomfortably narrow that uh, I would, uh, I would um, be long ideas more than at any other point in the last 50 years. I think, uh, I think we're not going to find solutions inside the um, intellectual straitjacket in which our universities and our society put us, um, and uh, I, think, I think there will be positive returns to ideas um, greater than there have been in the last 50 years.